In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to redirect users to different pages after they fill out different contact form 7 forms on your website. So if they fill out form A, they can be taken to thank you page A. If they fill out form B, thank you page B. You can have as many different forms and redirects as you want. I'm going to show you how to do this in this tutorial and we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you're new here and you like WordPress, and you like WordPress tips and tricks and how to make it work even better for you and your clients, then click subscribe because I publish lots of stuff to make your WordPress experience more awesome. Also click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. Now click on this card that appeared and register for the Brute Force Eliminator webinar where I show you how to protect my websites and my client websites using three simple tactics that I apply to all my websites to keep Brute Force hackers out for good. After you do that, come back to this tutorial. Let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is create two thank you pages. I'm gonna go over to pages, hold down command on a Mac, control on a PC, and click on add new twice. And it opens two tabs with two brand new page editors. I'm gonna go into the first one. I'm gonna call this page, thank you one. Put that in there as the, as the text in the page as well. These pages aren't gonna be pretty. These are only gonna serve the purpose of showing you how this actually works. So thank you page two is gonna be the other one. And we have both of those pages published. And you wanna keep track of these URLs. If you have memorized, that's great. If you wanna copy and paste them into a notepad, or somewhere where you can keep them safe, that's great too, because we're gonna need them in just a few seconds. Now that we have these pages created, we've gotta create some contact forms. I currently don't have any on this site, so if you already have contact forms that exist, that's great. We'll get to that in just a second. For those of you who don't yet, I'm just gonna create a new contact form using the Contact Form 7 plugin. It's gonna click on Add New, and it's gonna pre-populate a form for me, which is gonna be good enough for my needs right now. So I'm just gonna call this Basic Form 1, save it. And I'm gonna add another one. I'm gonna call it basic form two. And then save it. Now I'm gonna create two more pages. I did that hold down command and control trick again. So I've got two new page editors. And this is where my forms are gonna go. So basic form one is gonna go here. Basic form two is gonna go here. And to get the forms on there, you can either copy the short code from here or go right into contact forms where you see a list of all your forms and all the short codes. So we're gonna copy this first one, basic form one code into the basic form one page, paste it in, publish it. Same thing for number two, copy it into basic form page two, publish it. Now if we go and view these pages, we will see we have the two basic forms on there and when we submit them or fill them out, it's gonna fill them out right now. And then we click on send, we get a thank you for your message, it has been sent. But what we're gonna do is have that redirect to a thank you page instead of getting this message here. So to do that, we go back into our admin, go to appearance and then editor. You can also do this through FTP or through the file manager in cPanel. We're gonna find the functions file. I'm just pressing Ctrl or Command F, looking for functions.php. Click on the file name to open it. Now we have the file open. There's a whole bunch of functions in here. You can go right to the bottom, right after everything. Hit return a bunch of times, so you have some space to work in. And copy and paste this code that is found on the blog post that's linked to in the description. So I'm just gonna copy it paste it in here. And this code is basically adding a function to the WP underscore footer hook. The function is called this. You can name this whatever you want, as long as this name matches this name right here. So when this hook appears, we're calling this function. The function is outlined in here. And it basically says we add a document listener. We listen for this event, WP CF7 mail sent. So to get this ID, which we have to do first, we're gonna go and go to our form short code. This is basic form one. We see the ID right here is 936. Just gonna copy that, paste it in here. 
And the redirect URL right now is thank you page one. That's actually wrong, it's gotta be thank you one. You can copy and paste it right from the URL here if you want to, just to make sure it's completely accurate. Then we're gonna click on update to update the functions file. Come back out here, refresh this page. It's gonna fill out the form again really quickly. Click on send, and if everything went well, we're gonna be taken to the thank you page. We've got a thank you message here, and then we go to the thank you page, just like we're supposed to. Now the contact form, basic form two, this will not be redirecting yet, because we don't have that set up. So just to show you how this can work, you can have one form redirecting to a thank you page, and other forms not, if you don't want them to. So this one, we just get the thank you message, the page is not reloading, it's not being sent anywhere. This is all you get. So to get this to work on multiple forms, all we have to do is come in here, copy and paste this if statement, and we're just gonna put it in here a few more times, two more to be exact. We can't always have it say if though, we need to have the first one's gotta be an if, and then else if, with a space between those two words. And the last one is just gonna be else. We can delete the condition, we can delete the action. It's gonna have a comment in here called, or written as do nothing. Then we're gonna get the ID from the second form. We head over to our form builder, copy the ID, paste it in here. Need to update the destination URL. And now we have code that hopefully will function. This first statement, just to recap, is gonna check if the form has that ID. If it does, we're gonna be redirected to this URL. Else if can be read as or. So if this is not true, but this is, the form ID is 937, we'll be redirected to this URL. If neither of those are true, we're gonna have do nothing. If you only have two forms on your site, then but one of these will always be true when a form is submitted. If you have more forms, you can have as many of these statements as you want. If you wanted to add more, you would add more else ifs. So you'd add another else if in here and add a new form ID, add a new URL here. And then you can add as many as you want, but you always end with an else and it's quite often do nothing, which is just the default case. If none of these are true, this will happen. And quite often it's just nothing. So I'm just gonna delete this extra one I put in here and then save this file. And if everything went well, our basic form number two, after we refresh, I don't even need to refresh, but I do it just for good measure. If everything went well, this will now redirect to the second thank you page. So let's take a look, send that. And the page is refreshing and we're redirected to the second thank you page. So now we have form one, going to thank you page one. Form two, going to thank you page two. And that's what we set out to do. And like I said, you can add as many as you want, just add more else if statements. So that's all there is to it. I hope you got a lot of value from this tutorial. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. Also, click the card that just popped up, register for the Brute Force Eliminator webinar, where I show you three tactics that I apply to all my sites and client sites to keep brute force hackers out for good. And after that, click on one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can learn even more about WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.